Hi, thanks for tuning into this how-to video on how to use a Garmin eTrex 10 GPS receiver for Hendrix County Parks and Recreation. We use these often for programs and different types of fun events. When you borrow the GPS receiver, it may not already have the batteries installed, so you'll need to do that first. To install your batteries, you're going to flip the GPS receiver over. You're going to turn this locking ring and turn it to the left or counterclockwise. It's kind of hard to do. And then pull the whole back of the GPS receiver off. You'll be loaned some batteries. Make sure you install the pins of the battery correctly. So the battery on the right is going to have the positive pull to the top of the GPS receiver. Snap it in. The other battery has the opposite. So put the positive pull to the bottom. And then to install the back of the, the battery case, you're going to line up this pin my thumb is pointing at with this hole. So line that up. And then you're gonna press the, the bottom part down and then turn the locking ring to the right. And now you're ready to use your GPS receiver. Let's review the buttons before we get started. And we need to turn it, the power on. So the power is also indicated by the word light because it is the light button. So hold, press and hold that button. And once the menu page appears, it is ready to use. These buttons over here on the left are the zoom buttons. These will be handy for when you're on the map. If you're not on the menu page, you can use this button to go back to the menu. Now this is not a touchscreen GPS receiver kit, so you will have to use a button that's kind of like a mouse on a computer. This is a thumbstick or a toggle button, and that can be used to select different things. And we have a back button, which will take you back to where you may have been before, uh, to the screen that you were on before. On the back here, you probably won't need to use this, but there is a mini USB port here. Just make sure that this stays nice and tight so it's kind of waterproof. And now you are you ready to use your GPS receiver. So let's first practice marking a waypoint. So a waypoint is a location that you want to record and store on the device. Walk to a place where you want to mark. Maybe you want to mark where a trash can is at the park or your car and you're going to walk there. Then to mark the location where you are, you have to do two different options. One of the options is on the menu page Use the toggle to navigate to and select Mark Waypoint. There's the Mark Waypoint. Use the thumbstick to press until you come up with this page here. This is how you can save it. There's another way you can save uh, your waypoint. So I'm going to go back to the menu page. And the other way to save a waypoint, which I find is a little bit easier, is if you're on, go to the map page, click map, and this is the map, and it will also show you other geocaches in the area. Press and hold the toggle button on the map page, and it will pop up with a save waypoint. Now, this one is the same name as the one I showed you just a minute before because I didn't actually save it. So actually, I want to change the name of this GPS or this waypoint. So toggle up till you get there to the name. I'm going to change the name to D56 and then scroll down to done. And I also change, want to change the symbol. So I want the symbol to be this kind of light colored flag. Press and hold until it saves, and then you can scroll down to done. You don't need to change the location of the coordinates or the location because the elevation because it should already be correct. Click done to save. 
All right, and there is the waypoint we just saved. So now let's practice finding a waypoint. So I'm going to go to the menu page. And to find a waypoint, you can scroll down to Waypoint Manager. And this will give you a list of saved waypoints with their names, which direction the waypoints are from you, and how far. These waypoints are often listed in the order of distance they are from your current location. Scroll down to click on the waypoint you would like to find. I'm going to find this 002. It's 35 feet from me. And then once you're on that page, then say go. So the map page opens with your route marked with a thick line. The triangle position icon represents your location on the map. As you travel, the position icon moves. The map may show other saved waypoints in the area. On the map page, you can click up and down zoom buttons to zoom in and out on the map. You may find it easier to use the compass page to navigate, and that's what I find. Click the menu button twice, and then scroll down to compass, and this will tell you which direction to head on with your GPS receiver to find the waypoint. You have to move for the GPS receiver to determine where you are and which way you're moving. You will likely reach your point before the GPS receiver says zero feet. The accuracy of these GPS receivers will never be zero feet. When you arrive at the point, click the menu button twice. Select where to and select stop navigation. And you're done and ready to move on to the next waypoint and you can do that by using the steps just described. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you check out other programs and videos on our website and our YouTube channel. You can find our website by going to www.hendrickscountyparks.org. Thanks. We'll see you at the parks again soon.